Hello everyone, my name is Naomi. I am a fourth year accounting and finance student here at Lancaster University. As part of my degree, I did an industrial placement and today I want to share my experience with you. I did my placement at a credit rating company in London in Canary Wharf. I worked there for just over 10 months and I had a great time. So I know that different career paths have different timelines for when applications are open and closing, but because I'm in finance, they tend to be quite early on in the year. I'd say between August and October is really prime time for applications. But there are also companies that hire all the way through to the summer. I know someone that got a placement in May and started in June. So it really depends on what department you're in. So I'm very fortunate that I am in the management school, which has its own career team. And there is so much support available. There are Teams channels or email lists that you can join and they will highlight opportunities for you. The career team also offer a lot of prep so you can do interviews, you can do assessment centres, you can do test prep just to prepare you for the actual applications as well. But applying is a solo endeavour so you do have to do it yourself. Application processes really differ per company, per sector. I can mostly only speak on finance because I apply to finance roles, I apply to accounting roles. The general format is that you submit an application, so you just fill out your details. Then they ask you to do a test. So this could be a competency test. This could be like a personality test. Then if you get through the next stage, it's often a recorded interview. So you kind of sit in front of your laptop and answer questions on a platform like HireVue. Then when they review those, that's when they move forward with things like assessment centers, where you actually go to the company and you work with other people to display your skills. Most companies however are not the same and do pick elements of these steps and skip some and it really varies. So because my company was in partnership with the university the application process was actually really different. We had to apply by filling out why we want to work there and why the role I believe. Then someone from the university that was in partnership and in contact with the company would select people from those applications to have interviews with and then he put forth I think 10 people to the actual company to then have an interview with HR and that was it. Now now you have received a job offer. You could be very lucky, you could get multiple, but you also could get literally one. I think I applied to roughly 30 companies. Once I got the company I got though, I accepted and stopped all other applications because I knew that that's the one that I wanted. But don't be discouraged if you don't get an offer for January, February, March, because like I said, there's a lot of people that do get it on later in the year. And I know for a fact that at Lancaster University, you can always drop out of the placement option and just go on to third year. So I had to move to London, which is very different from Lancaster. I decided to live in a student accommodation. This is because it is way easier to arrange than living in, for example, just a rental property. It was a little bit more on the pricier side, especially because it was in London, but it had better facilities. You know, you have security, you have a gym, you can do cheaper options. So doing, for example, house shares and finding random people that you could live with. I remember at the time that I was moving, the housing market in London was hot. A property would come on and it would go off like, quick so if i know that my placement is starting in september i couldn't really start looking until august you can't be as picky you might end up living in not so nice conditions you also might get really lucky and live in a really nice place for really cheap but i just found that for me the student accommodation route was a lot simpler more straightforward and kind of worth paying a little bit extra for the first few weeks of your placement really differ per company but for my company we had one week of induction where you got to know about the company and after that we were just kind of placed at our desks and we got given things to do got people to meet from my experience the placement can kind of start off slow because you have to learn what you're going to do you might shadow someone you might just be attending meetings and taking notes but these are also that you can learn how to do the actual job and then slowly you build up your responsibilities i would say before you start make sure you find out what the dress code is you don't have to do a massive shopping haul and some of the things that you have in your wardrobe might already work for this occasion i definitely say get some fancy dress shoes you know a blazer some suit trousers try and build a capsule wardrobe where a lot of things kind of work with each other I did a pay placement, which is what I would recommend everyone to do. I think especially if you work for a big company, they can definitely afford to pay you. So make sure you find a pay placement. There's so many out there. But finance are very different. You earn often a lot more than what you would getting just your student finance. You really have to make sure you budget and plan because seeing all this money might be very tempting. For me, of course, living in London was quite expensive. My rent was quite expensive going out for dinners was quite expensive, but it was still doable on a placement salary. It just requires a little bit of planning and figuring out how much rent you can afford, those kind of things. I would also really recommend to try and save some of your salary. There's often this transition period when you finish university before you start your job or before you continue postgraduate study that you're just sat there. And it's nice to have that money to go traveling or to even just get by and pay for things for yourself.
there are so many benefits of doing a placement i couldn't recommend it enough first of all being you are quite likely to secure a graduate offer unless your company doesn't do graduate roles so many of my friends that did placements got offered graduate roles another thing getting experience experience is so valuable there's so much difference in doing research and learning theory than actually going into the company and really working in it and you really start to understand how certain things work also if you have work experience it makes you a lot more attractive as an employee because you have been in that environment you've learned professional skills you've learned how to talk to co-workers you've learned how to write emails how to do calls once again these are things that you don't necessarily learn at university i think it's also a really good opportunity to kind of try and test what you want to work in you might commit to a placement of 10 months and if you don't want to work there then that's fine or it might reaffirm where you want to work i only have two drawbacks applying to a placement is very very time consuming please do keep this in mind make sure you set out time in your schedule and there can be a period where all of a sudden five companies are asking you to do recorded interviews and then you have to do research on those five companies and then you have to do those interviews and it's just very mentally consuming when you're also doing your studies and then another drawback i would say is that it is really weird going from working for a year being surrounded by a lot of older people who have children who work full-time to then going back to being a student i feel like the thing with work is that you work from maybe nine to five or nine to six and then you're done and you don't think about work until the next day and when it's the weekend the weekend is completely free but when you're a student student is your whole personality you are a student always on saturdays you're thinking about the work that's due next week on sundays you also are so that was a really big switch and i feel like i have a lot less time for myself being a student than i did have working it's quite a big adjustment than going back to fourth year after having just worked it's just weird <laughs> So just some final tips if you are thinking of doing a placement year. First of all, use LinkedIn. When I was applying, I messaged people from my university that had attended the company I worked for and just said, hey, would you be willing to hop on a call with me just to talk about your placement experience because I'm applying. This helped so much. I said it in my interviews. It really helped me understand the role a lot more than you can do by just kind of researching and it gives you an advantage. Also, keep a spreadsheet of all your applications. It can be so easy to just kind of get lost in applications, forget what's going on with which, but make sure you keep a spreadsheet write down what the pay is going to be where it's going to be what the role is in just so that you remember what is what because it can get really overwhelming if you have 30 applications and you don't know what's going on with all of them and final tip is to try and move to a city where you think you might want to live so i knew that i would kind of want to live in london because once again it's just a one-year commitment so if you don't like it then you know this and you can think of somewhere else to live so that is the end of the video i hope this has been informative and helpful i couldn't recommend doing placement anymore it is the best thing i've ever done i am so happy i did it it was worth all the time for applications it was worth getting all those rejections i had such a good time just being in a different city meeting so many new people i know some people might think oh it makes you study four years rather than three years but so worth it so worth it if you have any questions please do feel free to leave them below in the comments and i will try and get back to the video and respond to them thank you so much for watching and if you are applying best of luck